Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. My name is Rachel. We're going to be doing another nice morning yoga practice today. So find just a little bit of space to move and let's get started. So we'll get started today by just finding a nice comfortable seat. So maybe sitting cross-legged or on your knees and also feel free to sit up on a cushion or a block or anything that you might have laying around. And we're just going to let the eyes close for a few moments and place your hands either on your knees or in your lap. And then as you inhale, I want you just to sit up a little bit taller. Take a nice big inhale, lengthen your spine, and as you exhale, drop those shoulders down away from the ears, but keep that nice long spine. Take another inhale, maybe grow a little bit taller, and exhale, relax. One more inhale, lengthen your spine, and exhale, soften those shoulders. Awesome, you guys. So we're going to let the chin Fall all the way down towards the collarbone, creating some length through the back of the neck. Let the head hang heavy and just find the breath. And even though that we're letting our head be nice and heavy, with each inhale you take, just sit up a little bit taller and exhale, soften through the shoulders, soften through the neck. Nice, you guys. Slowly start to let the head roll over towards the right shoulder. And again, remember to sit tall and then drop those shoulders from the ears. Awesome, you guys. Let your head come back down to your collarbone and roll all the way over to the left side. Awesome, you guys, let the head, the chin come back down to the collarbone and use a big inhale, lift your chin back up to neutral. I want you to bring the shoulders all the way up to the ears, shrug those shoulders and then pull them back and drop them down. Feel free to start to open up the eyes. You can take another shoulder roll if you would like, but we're gonna come over onto our hands and knees. So just coming forwards off to the side, spreading your fingers nice and wide, Bring those knees in right under the hips and take an inhale. Start to drop your belly, lifting your chest as well as your chin. Exhale, rounding through the spine. Push into the palms a little bit and draw the chin in towards the collarbone. Let's go again. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale, drop that belly. Kind of arch the back and lift the chin. And exhale, rounding through the spine. Gently pull your belly button in. Inhale, coming back to a nice flat back. All right, we're going to keep our hips stacking over top of the knees, but you're going to reach both of your arms all the way out in front and just drop your forearms down onto the mat. Drop your forehead and also drop your chest, puppy dog. Let's be nice and gentle on those shoulders. Continuing to find the breath here. If you want to close your eyes and just really settle in, go for it. And then feel free to stay as you are or maybe lift up a little bit and just take your left arm and slide it underneath your chest, dropping the shoulders and the chest back down as well as that forehead or maybe even a cheek. And if you came over and slid that left arm underneath, just lift on up. Bring that left hand back to the top of your mat and take your right arm, drop it underneath, underneath the chest, and then rest those shoulders back down. Rest your head. Just feeling this a little bit more through that right side. Awesome. 
Awesome job. You guys use an inhale. Lift yourself back up. I want you to bring that right hand back out in front. And instead of dropping the shoulders and the chest, I just want you to shift your weight forward just a little bit. And then we're going to send it back and you're going to drop the chest down again. So use an inhale. Just lift that chest all the way up. Kind of shift that weight forward a bit. And then as you exhale, drop it down. Just really getting into the shoulders, into the upper body. Maybe warming up the wrists a little bit, even that core. And we're just going to do one more. Shift that way forward and then pull it back. Puppy dog stretch. Nice work, you guys. Inhale, lift yourself back up. You can walk your hands in so that they're under the shoulders. We're going to tuck our toes underneath and lift on up into downward facing dog. Ooh. Yes, the first downward dog of the day. You might want to take your dog for a nice big walk. So you can bend your right knee and then find the length through the left leg and then switch sides. Get your hips involved. Whatever leg is bent, just drop that hip to that side as well and just move however feels good. Awesome work, you guys. We're going to look between the hands and you're going to step or walk your right foot all the way up to the top. Let's lower the back knee down and then sink into those hips. So again, early morning yoga practice, we are typically not as flexible in the morning as we are at the end of the day. So only go as far as feels good for you. You can keep your hands on the mat. You can start to lift the hands to the knee, but get into that hip flexor just a little bit here. So however far you need to sink into those hips, go for it, find that stretch, and then relax through the shoulders. I'm gonna give you guys a little option to add a twist into the lunge. So you could take your left hand and just rest it on your front knee, and then take your right hand and just Reach it behind you, maybe even for the back leg. If you can't get it that far, that's cool. You can bring your hand to that right hip, but just think about turning the chest to face the right side. Nice, you guys, use an inhale. Turn yourself back to face the front, and then let's go for a little counter twist. So right hand to the knee, left hand either to the left hip or to the back leg. Beautiful, you guys. Use an inhale. Turn yourself back to face the front. Lower your hands to the mat. And then let's step all the way back into our downward facing dog. So again, opportunity to take your dog for a nice big walk. I say big because I really want you to bend your knees here and rock those hips around and just move a little bit. Nice, you guys. Use an inhale. Look between your hands. Exhale. Bring your left foot up this time. Lower that back knee. Set up your lunge. Ah, finding that right hip this time. Staying with your hands on the mat or bringing them all the way up to that front knee. Hmm. And just take this time to find your balance, settle into the lunge. And even though we're going for a twist, I still want you to sink into, the, into the, those hips. <laughs> All right, so if you're coming for the twist, let's turn to the left to start. Right hand can find that front knee, left hand to the hip or the back leg. Nice, gentle twist. Nice work, you guys. My hips are feeling pretty tight this morning, so much needed. Let's use an inhale. Turn to face the front and then exhale for your counter twist. Nice work, you guys. Use an inhale. Turn to face the front, drop your hands all the way down, stepping the front foot back, downward facing dog. Take a nice big inhale and exhale. 
As you inhale again, look between your hands and exhale, walk your feet all the way up to the top of your mat. So keep your feet about hip width apart and we're gonna bend our knees a lot here. If you would like to interlace your fingers behind the low back, squeeze those palms together maybe if you need it, but just lift the hands off of the low back a little bit or a lot getting into those shoulders and those arms a bit, and then just fold forward. Let your head be nice and heavy, creating some length through the legs. If it feels right or keeping those knees nice and bent, take another big breath in and exhale. Release your hands all the way down to your mat. Inhale, let's lift up halfway and keep those knees nice and bent if it feels right, and exhale. Drop your hands to the mat, step or walk your feet all the way back into downward facing dog. Beautiful, you guys. Stay for an inhale and exhale. Lower your knees all the way down. Find that nice comfy seat that you started your yoga practice in. And then place your hands on the floor beside you. If you'd like to close your eyes, let them close. Take a big inhale, reach your arms out wide, lift the chin, and exhale your hands together through heart center. Hold it here. Beautiful practice today, you guys. I hope that you're feeling great and ready to take on whatever comes at you today. So have an awesome day, and until we meet again, namaste.